Roadrunners are now in week two of their fall camp, but the competition for starting quarterback is heating up. Four guys are competing for the job, including Frank Harris, who aggravated a shoulder injury against North Texas in the fourth game last season, and he was out. Now enter former Smithson Valley Ranger quarterback Josh Atkins, who transferred from New Mexico State, and the pair will compete against Lowell Narcisse and Jordan Weeks. Following their first scrimmage Saturday, Coach Trailer was asked yesterday if anyone has separated themselves from the rest. Couldn't be more proud of that group. One day one will have a slightly better day, the next day the next one will step up. But uh, all four of them are, have represented themselves very well. They busted their tails. They've gotten better. And uh, each one of them has an aspect of their game that's unique from the other one. And uh, I'd pick any of the four and feel confident uh, we could go win football games. And the NCAA Division I Council says that fall sports, sports student athletes can compete in any amount of competitions this year and it will not count as a season of eligibility. This still has to be approved by NCAA Board of Governors. Texas A&M starting quarterback Kellen Mon wants to make the most of a senior season, but first he needs a senior season, which isn't guaranteed. The Pac-12 and Big Ten canceled fall sports due to COVID-19 concerns, and Mon doesn't want to see the SEC do the same thing. So he offered a plea to his fellow Texas A&M classmates. If the student body could just help us, um, you know, wear your mask, uh, limit the partying and you know football players we're not even partying or doing all that stuff right now I don't even think there's time for it but um yeah if they could you know limit that and you know you know try to stay as healthy as possible I think that'll definitely help us and you know especially in college station with a, a large body of students um I think if they're able to do that then you know we're definitely going to have a season oh. Head coach Jimbo Fisher said A&M currently has no COVID-19 cases among players, although two are quarantined. Astros are on a serious roll. The hottest team in baseball right now. Top five at the Rockies, tied at one. Carlos Correa gets a ball he likes and hooks it down the left field line, and it's just fair. Solo shot, and the Astros take the lead for good. Two to one, his third homer this season. Kyle Tucker had the biggest bat yesterday, going four for five with a homer and this two-run triple in the sixth. He knocked in four runs. Houston had 20 hits to hammer the Rockies by the final of 13 to six, so they've now won seven straight. On the flip side, the Rangers have lost four in a row after falling to the Padres 6-3 in 10 innings. And just a reminder, the Spurs are part of the NBA draft lottery tonight at 7.30. They have a 2% chance to win the first pick in the NBA draft. So that's still better than no chance. Hey, you're saying they got a chance. That's right. You know, <laughs> good. Better than nothing. Almost nothing. <laughs> Almost, but. Never if know. you missed the SA Live Back to School special in primetime last night, they are bringing it back again this afternoon. So much great information about digital learning, tech at home, frugal fashion finds, and how kids feel about going to school in 2020. And of course, Free food for the kids. All right, Mike and Fiona, take it away. Yep, it is back to school time, and we are here for our back to school special in prime time at Sunshine Cottage School for deaf children. And you know what? He calls us all the time for, you know, tech support, so we sent him to Best Buy. Yes, because think about last year when the school year ended and all those Zoom meetings you had going on and the learning at home, and could your house handle it, the Wi-Fi network? No, we've got some great tips from Best Buy. And we want to see your school spirit. Let us know at SA Live KSAT on Facebook and Twitter. Maybe you've got your old letter jacket, Maybe you have Pulled some of pictures of you in sports. Send them in. Yeah. We'd love to see them. And we want to know how the kids feel about this new school year because some folks are going to be learning at home and there's the distancing and everything like that. So we're going to hear from the students themselves. So adorable. I know. And of course, back to school fashion with Revolution Thrift. This is a great way to find some great deals and even learning supplies for kids. And you're giving back to the community. Our good friend Karen Mead is going to help us uh, get all organized for for school as well. All that and so much more in just a few minutes on SA Live's Back to School Special in Prime Time, brought to you by Sunshine Cottage School for Deaf Children. Welcome back. It's only one o'clock and we're already up to 96. Well, on our way to 102 this afternoon, mostly sunny skies. Uh, slight chance of a shower tomorrow. I'd say it's 10% or less. 
maybe a little better chance Friday night, Saturday morning. We'll see if we can get some storms coming in from the north. Otherwise, it's a dry, hot weekend. But we'll be paying close attention to what happens next week. Could we get some tropical moisture in here right now? Just 20% rain chances Tuesday and Wednesday, but we'll have to wait and see what happens with our two tropical depressions out there and whether or not they will indeed bring some moisture to uh, the Texas area. Best advice we can give you stay tuned to the forecast next several days. We'll be able to refine it a little bit better and get a little better idea of where these tropical systems are headed. Guys, thanks so much, Justin. You know, back to school for some isn't always that exciting, but at least Mike and Fiona make it exciting, right? Yeah, I think Mike is kind of reliving those those old days. I think he's wearing his leather letter jacket. And <laughs> there we go. Was Fiona a cheerleader? Maybe? I, you know what? We're going to find out because SA Live starts right now. Who says back to school fashion can't be affordable where you can gear up on the cheap for a good cause? Are you ready for digital learning? We're getting the 411 on how to make sure your home network is ready if you're learning from home. Revamp your study space for less than 40 bucks, plus a back to school giveaway you don't want to miss. Don't forget to pack your lunch where you can find a tasty meal for the family that won't break the bank tonight on SA Live. Everything you need to start the school year right. You're watching SA Live's Back to School Special in Primetime. Brought to you by Sunshine Cottage School for Deaf Children. Good evening, everyone. It is a great night here at Sunshine Cottage School for Deaf Children. I'm Mike Osterhage. And I'm Fiona Gorstiza. Also here with us is David Elder. That's right. Now, this school year is going to be a little, well, I mean, let's not kid ourselves, right? It's going to be a lot yes. different, but nothing will take away our school spirit. Indeed. And we want to see your school spirit. Go North. Go Raiders. <laughs> yes. And it's hot with a letter jacket on. This <laughs> so we want you to post all your pictures to Facebook and Twitter. At, it's SA Live KSAT and we are going to share a few of them a little bit later on in the show. So this school year, as we've kind of alluded to, is already going to be a challenge for kids and parents, and we're all wondering what it's going to look like. Yeah, that's right. So we asked a few kids what they're looking forward to and how they feel about this new school year, which is really, really different. My name's Emma. I'm in fourth grade, and I go to Oakland Elementary. First day of school. Um... What do you think it's going to be like? Crazy, because everyone's going to be doing new stuff and like everyone's going to, have to figure out how to do it online and it's going to be weird. My name's Paige. I'm in second grade and I go to Vineyard Ranch. Are you going to be going to school at school or at home? At home. At home. Mason Gould, I'm in eighth grade and I go to Elmo. What do you think about digital learning and, and doing school at home. I'd rather do it on paper because it's more like engaging and if the teacher is in the classroom you can well you can hear like everything they say and you don't have to worry about them their mic cutting out or something. Hi my name is Alicia Brown. I'm 16 years old. I'm going to be in 11th grade and be junior and I'm homeschooled. <laughs> what have you learned from this whole pandemic? I have learned to enjoy the little things and just to enjoy like the journey in life. That's like, I even have a bracelet <laughs> that says that. Um, that's definitely something I've learned. My name is Lara Burguete. Um, I'm 14 and I'm going into 10th grade. I go to the International School of the Americas. It's a magnet program at Lee. Don't take things for granted, which is something I did a lot. And you have to exercise, you really do. <laughs> I'm Francisco, I'm a 16 year old and I'll be going into junior year over at the Design and Technology Academy at Roosevelt High School. What have you learned from the pandemic? So one of the biggest things I've learned from the pandemic is time management is critical. You know, sometimes we'll spend too much time, um, I don't know, doing homework and then we forget, hey, uh, you got to take care of ourselves or personally, I get lost in the rabbit hole of computer projects and then I realize, hey, I forgot to eat or something. Um, I would say be patient with yourself and to take it little by little. It's definitely a learning curve. Like when I transitioned to homeschooling, it was very hard for me, but I'd say just be patient with yourself and stay focused and make a schedule and push yourself. Great Absolutely adorable. <laughs> oh, yes, indeed. And, you know, the best thing I guess we can say, no matter yeah. where you're learning from, is just good luck. Study hard. Yeah. yeah. So 
I mean, that's what it comes down to. Yep. Keep up the school spirit, study hard, no matter right. where you're at, right? But one thing you really need this school year before you get started is a reliable internet access point. Oh, yes, indeed, because I know, uh, you know, at our house, if everybody was doing Zoom meetings and this <laughs> and, and learning, so went over to the folks, the experts at Best Buy to find out the best way to make sure your home Wi-Fi and all the gizmos and gadgets are working right. Well, like last school year finish up, this school year is gonna be starting off and a lot of the classes are gonna be done online. And how can you make things work to their optimum as far as your home computers and home Wi-Fi and all that technical gadget stuff goes? Well, here is the lady with all the answers, Amanda Gomez, who is the computer supervisor here at Best Buy. In other words, she's the one you wanna be your best friend. <laughs> all right, starting off, because we have classes online, Zoom meetings, everything else. What can you do with what you have in your house to make it work at its optimum? Absolutely, so there's plenty of things that you can do just with the technology that's already in your home. Especially if you have your Wi-Fi system, so you have your modem and your router, you definitely wanna make sure that your updates and your firmware has been updated on those devices. That sounds complicated, how you do it? <laughs> it's actually not that complicated at all. You simply can go and disconnect all of your power adapters from those devices, give it a few seconds, and then plug them right back in. Okay, I know we have trouble at our house. Sometimes this room, you get a really good signal, and then you're over here and it's like, come on. So sometimes what you get from your provider may not be the best, and so you have different routers, okay. So yes, you do definitely do have different routers that we offer here at Best Buy that you can integrate with your current system to make sure that you get that same reliability throughout the rooms, throughout the floors. We can definitely partner you with something that will we'll go ahead and give you that reliability throughout your network. Okay, and even something as simple as a, a mouse, you said, makes a lot of difference too. Absolutely, so definitely want to make sure that you have those accessories to make going to school or being in a meeting more comfortable for you. So I have a lot of customers that come in and they say, you know, my trackpad isn't the most reliable. I don't like clicking it. And a mouse being integrated with your system is perfect. Okay, and some of the other things just to make it a lot less distracting at home, even uh, noise canceling headphones, right? Absolutely, noise canceling headphones make a huge difference in, in interaction through video. Um, this is going to allow you to kind of uh, distance yourself from all of that background noise that might be happening. And student discounts too, right? Yeah, student discounts are something that Best Buy is definitely proud of. We offer student discounts not only to college students, but any student, especially in the time that we are going into an even higher digital aid. Um, that will allow you to kind of save on your expenses throughout the, uh, throughout the store. Yeah, the best tip I got out of that was unplug it for a little while and it's gonna update itself and reset. So, and Isn't even that, somebody- I know Technology, that, yes, right? And, <laughs> yes. you know, and we know that he learned the most out of that. That's right. <laughs> yes, I did. I, my, my parents live in a completely different state. They still call me to do their oh, internet. Tech support, yeah, tech they support. call me for tech support. <laughs> you know, yeah, one thing yeah. you may not need when you go back to school this fall is a letter jacket. I think we're gonna have to uh, yeah, use these in a little bit. It's a little bit, warm. So. It's getting a little warm out here, so. <laughs> That's why I'm not wearing one. That's All right, hey, with money tight for a lot of families right now, back to school shopping can look a whole lot different this year. Yes, but the folks over at Revolution Thrift have you covered for the latest trends at affordable prices. And you're also helping a good cause. Take a look. Well, kids are heading back to school this fall. Whether it's virtual learning or eventually going to be in classroom, back to school shopping doesn't have to break the bank. And we are here at Revolution Thrift on Blanco Road. And joining me right now is founder Rachel Kelly because you can find a ton of stuff here for back to school, even if kids just want to change up their looks for the virtual or yes. distance learning, right? It, yes, we have everything. Shorts, t-shirts, graphic tees are really big right now jeans um, from $3.99 to $5.99. It's a still of a deal. And you can find anything that you need for your back to school shopping. We're, we've got it. All right, now we have our first look right here. Yes, we do. And Abby is modeling. She's got earrings, which are only $2.99. Mm -hmm. She's got this gorgeous 
necklace, which offsets her look for only $1.99. Shirt, $2.99. Jeans, $3.99. Boots, $3.99. Where are you going to find boots for $3.99? And this super cute backpack pack for $3.99. All right, so we've got our second model here with yes, another look. We do. This is Anthony. And this is a nice looking shirt, which is $3.99. Some awesome shorts for $3.99. And his backpack, a van's off the wall, and I believe it's $4.99. All right, we're going a little edgy for our third look, right? <laughs> so we have Ben here, who is a senior. His look is pants $4.99, jacket $7.99. This graphic tee is $2.99, and his backpack is $4.99. So it's not just clothing here that you have for, you know, back to school. There's a lot of other things kids can benefit from, right? Yes, exactly. We have science kits. This is $3.99, new in the box. Fun games, hours of fun with kids being at home with parents, learning uh, toys, books, you know, um, all kinds of things. I love this. It's a little lunch bag. Have your kids, you know, pack up their lunch and go outside and, you know, have a picnic as something special while they're home you know, schooling virtually. Right, a picnic in the backyard. Picnic in the backyard. <laughs> All right, Rachel, tell us why it's important to keep these doors open, because folks give back when they come in here, right? They absolutely do. So we donate 100% of the profits back to our community. We've given over $70,000 away since we've been open these past two years. And so we're so thankful to still have our doors open and to be able to partner with high-impact, life-changing charities here in the San Antonio community. All right, tell folks where you're located and how to find you. Well, we're here at 8513 Blanco Road. It's at the corner of West and Blanco. And we're here Thursday, Friday, and Saturday from 11 to 7 since we're staffed by volunteers. If you want to check us out on social media, we're on Facebook and Instagram, or you can find us at revolutionthrift.org online. All right, and for all that information, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. All right, you guys, still ahead on the show, I'm gonna be taking you around San Antonio to check out restaurants. They're gonna be serving up specials and deals perfect for the whole family this school year. Coming up next on SA Live, the ultimate back to school workspace on a budget. Twin Sisters Interiors helps us go from the thrift store to a DIY makeover. Okay, so there's a filer and a piler, two completely different types of people or children. A piler is someone who likes or needs to just have one home to put their things in and it's just piled in here. But the, the advantage of that is at least you can find it. It has a home. For this young student, it's perfect for him to start learning or training himself to keep everything in one area so he's not looking all over the house. So his parents can say, just go check your, your tray, check your tray, check your tray. That's for a piler. A filer is someone who prefers to give things a home, but it's categorized. So it's not everything together in one. This is for a student and it's broken up by her subjects in school. So she can very easily find something for spelling, reading, or geography instead of putting it in the tray where it's just piled up. This is good for an older student or an adult, really. This works for bills and coupons and receipts and gift cards as well. But for today's purpose, we're talking about a student being able to be a filer versus a younger student who is probably good learning how to be a piler. Time for some trivia. What year was the United States of America founded? Was it A, 1776, B, 1827, C, 1901, or D, 1978? The answer is coming up after the break. Earlier we asked, what year was the United States of America founded? The answer is A, 1776. Welcome back to SA Live's Back to School special in prime time here at Sunshine Cottage School for Deaf Children. We made it one block, but we had to lose the letter jacket. It's a little hot out here. Yes, <laughs> yes, and I'm glad we did. Although yes. we still have the school spirit, yeah. okay? So if you are working on perfecting that virtual school setup from your home, how about doing it for less than $40? That sounds like a fantastic deal. And Twin Sisters Interiors is teaming up with SA Live to find smart thrift store buys that can transform back to school DIYs. What we're looking for today is a setup for a youth's desk area. So we're on the, keeping an eye out for desk, chair, um, some knickknacks that might help them keep pens organized. And yeah. organized. 
uh, maybe something for the wall. It needs to be comfortable. It needs to feel um, like they have access to all the items that are necessary to accomplish their tasks for that day. But again, key is being organized and yeah. having everything having a place and knowing where that place is. All right, so we've got our plan and our vision. Let's get shopping. like an old school little desk. Wow. Gosh, I'm already having a vision for what we can do with this. That is great. Okay, let's find a chair. Possibly could yeah. work. But you know what I'm thinking, it's not real comfortable yeah. when you're sitting all day. True. Pretty good shape. Yeah, it actually is. Could use a little paint. TLC. Let's see the paint. Comfortable. Yeah. Keep in mind the chair that you're going to select for your child. It needs to be a little bit comfortable because they're going to be uh, in there for quite a few hours yeah. a day. You may not walk up on the perfect chair or the perfect desk. So just uh, be open to what you're looking at. It may be a table. It may be you know grandma's old chair. But we can we can fix it up. We can make it pretty and we can make it functional. We found an awesome desk, yay. Yes, we found a really cool, unique chair that we can put with the desk. We found some bins that are gonna be perfect for organizing some tools. And something we found tons of, and you really gotta keep an eye out for this, is stationary. Being able to keep notes, but you know, having that pretty paper or decorative paper is key. We've also got a, a whiteboard and a cork board that, again, are gonna help with the calendar, the daily schedule, and um, all those tasks. For the big reveal, Teresa and Cheryl are here with me, and that already looks really cute, guys. What did you do? Um, you saw the desk that we found at the thrift store, so we had to give it a little personality. Um, a little spray paint on the legs. We used a gold metallic paint, and then found this lovely peel and stick wallpaper. It comes in with so many different options. We talked about organization being key to keeping our students uh, on track at home. So we took those inexpensive baskets that we found at the thrift store and painted them a color that would match our color scheme that we were going for and organized all their little uh, school supplies in there. And then we used that cork board and just dressed it up with a little bit of fur because who doesn't love some fur? <laughs> I love the fur, <laughs> super yeah. cute. Uh, and then the chair, you remember it was kind of dated and brown and not pretty. So we gave it a coat of spray paint in a white satin and the satin adheres to the wood a little bit better. And then added some fur for some more personality. We also wanted to bring in um, additional lighting in this corner of our room. So we found a just a lamp pendant from Home Depot and we added a shade to it. But as you can see, we didn't have to get an electrician involved. We just hooked it into our ceiling and plugged it into the wall. So very easy to do. You remember we found this whiteboard. So we're gonna use that, you know, maybe for some homework or just scheduling, things like that. And then above that was the little frame. It was just a really inexpensive white frame in deep, good condition. So we just printed an inspirational uh, message for our child to keep them motivated as they're working at home away from their classmates. We have that letter organizer that we found. We painted that gold as well. And then we found all that wonderful stationery at the thrift store. We discovered that they have tons of stationery. Butterfly, paperweight. Paperweight was a, a good score too. Okay, and all of this for how much? Under 40 bucks. If you Under $40, it. it looks great. Perfect space if you're gonna stay home now. Another thrifty revamp. Okay, that revamped yeah. right? desk, right? that thing needs a home. Yeah, they do such great work. Oh, they do. And you know what? Twin sisters Cheryl and Teresa are planning to give it away. Just head over to their Instagram. Yes, and we, of course, have a link on our website, salive.com. All you have to do is click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Still ahead on SA Live, leaving everyone with a smile, we'll introduce you to this custodian who's working hard to make sure everyone feels special in her elementary school. And we're getting a lesson from Sunshine Cottage on how they're improving the lives of deaf children here in San Antonio. That's up next on the SA Live Back to School Special in Prime Time.
Did you know three out of every thousand babies are born deaf or hard of hearing in the U.S.? Those numbers hold here in Texas as well. But there's a place kids with hearing impairment can go to get a quality education catered to their needs. It's Sunshine Cottage School for Deaf Children, and I'm here with Mark Eads, Executive Director. Thank you so much for having us Thank today. You. Thank you. All right, how many children are enrolled here at Sunshine Cottage? Uh, currently, we have two programs. We have our parent infant program, and we have 110 children in that program right now. We have 190 children in our pre-K through five program and we'll service probably about 200 families this year if not more. Uh, it is much more than just a school. It's beyond that. Uh, what we do is we, we take in children from birth to age three. Uh, we work with the family units in our PIP program. We also uh, supply them and service them with uh, uh, the birth testing. So we provide that opportunity for parents at no charge. Matter of fact, we don't charge anyone because of the legacy of Mrs. White. And so zero to three is free to any family that wants to come here and receive the benefit of our audiology department, our speech department, our parent infant program. And so it's just a great, great service. What do you hope for the future for Sunshine Cottage? Ultimately, to be able to replicate something as important and powerful as we have here uh, and take it to service more children in different locations would be a wonderful thing because I believe we're able to provide a more efficient and effective service for our children, make them academically successful. With that said, being nonprofit, we don't have the state or federal programs, and so we have to raise the money every year to be able to make sure that we can provide the education for all of our children. We're very blessed that we have people that uh, worked with the White family and have continued on uh, that have been part of the donations and the giving. Well, thank you so much, Martin. You mentioned that legacy with Mrs. White, and we're going to learn a little bit more about that history right now. Here to tell us a little bit about that history is Lisa Lopez, director of the Parent Infant Program. Okay, so tell folks who is Dila White and of course how is Sunshine creating new and exciting ways to continue her legacy? I think the absolute best way to discuss Dila White is in the terms that she would describe herself, that she was just a parent of another deaf child who got an education to start a school. She was a parent with the idea, but she would never take credit for the fruition of the school. She always gave the credit to the people in the trenches, and those people are our classroom teachers, and so her, her saying when you would run into her and you'd go, oh, thank you so much, you'd go, happy teachers, happy kids. So her legacy has been one of love, but kids first and foremost. Sunshine Cottage will be hosting its first virtual legacy luncheon this year. Instead of joining them for a traditional lunch, sponsorship will include an exciting new feature, Legacy in a Box, with various treats and surprises as a thank you for your support. The link to access the virtual event will be on their website, sunshinecottage.org, starting noon on Tuesday, October October 13th, so be on the lookout for that. All right, we pulled your heartstrings. Now we're gonna make you laugh. Not with us or at us, I don't know. We're bringing our A game to the gym here at Sunshine Cottage. I'm Erin Chase from Five Dollar Dinners, and coming up, I'm gonna show you how to make these two delicious dinners from one rotisserie chicken. Time for some trivia. What country gifted the Statue of Liberty to the United States? Was it A, England, B, France, C, Spain, or D, Canada? The answer is next. Before the break, we asked what country gifted the Statue of Liberty to the United States? The answer is B, France. A rotisserie chicken is a lifesaver when it comes to dinner during this busy back to school season and today I'm going to show you how to take this rotisserie chicken and turn it into two meals, an oven chicken taco bake as well as Tuscan pasta with chicken and spinach. Pull the chicken off of the bone, getting that good mix of white meat and dark meat for the meals that we're going to cook. I love these chicken tacos in the oven because nothing's gonna fall out of your taco. Let me show you how that works. Okay, so I just have a mix of shredded cheeses here and we're gonna put a little bit into the base of each of these taco shells that are nested together in a baking dish. And then we will mix together the 
chicken and salsa in a bowl. So because we're making two recipes with this chicken, I'm gonna take about half of this shredded chicken, run my forks through it just real quickly again, and then mix in some salsa probably about a half a cup. You don't want it to be too runny. And the rest of this chicken you can just put in your fridge so you have it for tomorrow night when it's time for your pasta night. Let's load this salsa and chicken into each taco shell. And then we'll add more cheese on top. I also love that you get two meals from one rotisserie chicken. It's just a fantastic and affordable option for dinner. All right, the oven's preheated to 350 and it's ready for these tacos. So let me add more cheese. And then we'll put these into the oven for about 10 to 12 minutes, just long enough to melt the cheese since the meat is already cooked. The oven chicken tacos are ready for their toppings and the dinner table. I'm just gonna add a little shredded lettuce and some pico de gallo. And I imagine my boys will be running downstairs for dinner shortly. Remember that chicken that you have in the refrigerator where you can pull it out because we're gonna make Tuscan chicken and pasta. Okay, we're going to make a very simple sauce with diced tomatoes and seasonings. We're gonna also stir in frozen spinach and incorporate that so it kind of melts into the tomato sauce. And after all of that's together, then we will add in some half and half heavy cream or whole milk, and some grated Parmesan cheese. Last, before we add the pasta in, we need to stir in that rotisserie chicken. So mix that right into the sauce and break up any larger pieces so that they're easier to eat later. Finally, we'll add a little bit of basil and garlic powder. About five minutes after putting all this sauce together here, we're gonna mix in the pasta and this is ready for dinner. I love that I'm getting two meals for my four boys with one rotisserie chicken. This is cost cooking. Cook once, serve twice at its best. Aaron always has so many great ideas, great tips, and meals for less than five bucks. Oh yes, and we have a link to her website on salive.com. All you have to do is just click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. And you know who else has really great meal ideas? This guy right here. David Elder, okay. <laughs> School, what's in the lunchbox? Okay, I'm talking burgers, grilled cheese. Everybody loves grilled cheese for lunch, oh, yes. right? Tacos, burritos, anything you can get your hands on. But actually, I went around to a couple restaurants that have really good deals for families for lunchtime, even for dinner time. We're gonna show them right here. It's back to school time, but some students don't have access to the cafeteria like they used to. But no worries, parents. SA Live has got you covered. At Babe's Burgers, with multiple locations across San Antonio, kids nine and under eat free all day long with every adult entree purchased. At CeCe's Pizza, with multiple locations across San Antonio, kids three and under eat free every day. This includes a custom buffet of fresh salads, savory pasta, delicious desserts, and fresh from the oven pizzas. At Buffalo Wings and Rings, kids eat free on Mondays. One kid's meal per adult entree. Along with the gorgeous outdoor dining, Tuesdays at the Cove in San Antonio is get one free child's meal after 5 p.m. with one adult entree purchase. Your Wednesday nights are covered at both San Antonio locations of Easy Brick Oven and Grill. From 5 p.m. to close, kids eat free with one free kids meal per adult entree purchased. On Thursdays, kids eat free from the kids menu at Center Court Pizza and Brew in Stone Oak with one free kids meal per adult entree. Every Saturday at Lenny's Grill and Subs, kids eat free with the purchase of a regular sub. That's a seven and a half inch or larger sub and a drink. On Sundays, roll out to any Freebirds in San Antonio because kids 12 and under, get this, eat free all day long. How cool is that? On top of the free meals for children, many local restaurants are also offering affordable meals for families, like Smoke the Restaurant's daily and weekend deals in downtown San Antonio, Artie's Burgers, D 
Daily Burger Deal in Cibolo. Mia's off Bandera Road in 1604 near Helotus is offering multiple family meals. There are a lot of other great deals going on around San Antonio, but to get a list of all the places that I just mentioned, head on over to the website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. To get more pictures, videos, and information on restaurants around Texas, just follow me on Instagram at Elder East. Still ahead on SA Live, how about some feel-good vibes? We'll introduce you to this custodian who's going the extra mile to make sure everyone's feeling special during these challenging times. Doing custodial work, it's not easy work, it's hard work, but the price that you get, um, you know, with interacting with all the students and teachers and Everybody that comes in here, you know, parents, teachers, it's just, you know, that's that's priceless. I enjoy all that. Even before the pandemic, she used to make motivational bulletin boards so the kids could see them and they could get excited about it, celebrating special occasions, mm -hmm. just always making a big deal because she wanted the kids to feel the love from the school. Right now, more than ever, most would agree the world could use more Margies. The custodian at Northwest Crossing Elementary for Northside ISD is Innovator of the Year, and here's why. Well, we got carpets, we got masks, we got bags. Um, we've had, I've also collected uh, used clothes that is in good condition for families that are in need here in our campus. Uh, I've picked up bikes and I've had my husband work on the tires to make sure they're all ready to go. <laughs> I mean, you guys seem very lucky to have Margie, right? We are very lucky to have her. She um, is just a blessing in the com in, in, at our school. Not only does she collect supplies for families in need, she's making sure the pandemic is not taking away joy from her students. When the kids came to pick up the materials, she surprised all of us. And she went and purchased inspirational signs to put in the front of the school because she wanted the kids to see how much we missed them when they came to pick up those materials. And that just made our day and it made our family's day. Just giving them a little, um, a little something to say, hey, good morning, how are you? Oh, look at you this morning, you know? That just pumps them, you know, that just gets them ready for the day, you know? And now with the new year starting, Margie hopes to spread even more positivity. All you need is time and the will to, to make a difference and, and make a change, you know? And we can all do that. We don't need money for that. That is the best feeling, you know, to know that you have somebody like that that just loves the kids mm -hmm. and wants to come to work. I mean, she gives 110%. For SA Live, I'm Jen Tobias Jeske. Up next, we're heading to the gym here at Sunshine Cottage to put our bodies and our brains to the test. Time for some trivia. What elements can be found in the first column of the periodic table? A, halogens, B, alkali metals, C, noble gases, or D, borophyll? We'll have the answer right after this. Earlier we asked, what elements are in the first column of the periodic table? The answer is B, alkali metals. Welcome back to SA Live's Back to School Special in Primetime. We're here now inside of the Sunshine Cottage Gymnasium. Gym class. Gym class time, okay. We got Mike ready to go, Fiona's ready to go. We're gonna play a game, it's a little bit recess, it's a little bit math, but it's a whole lot of fun, okay? So you guys ready to play? I didn't know there was gonna be math, they didn't tell me. I didn't yes, know I know, I'm gonna it. explain the rules, okay? So here's an example, so you guys can both look. So you're gonna basically do a little math problem, you're gonna get your answer, and that's gonna tell you how many times you have to do the activity that's listed on the bottom, okay? Could be push-ups, it could be burpees, I don't know, okay? There's just a random list in front of you. Now the first one to four is the winner, but we'll, we might have to get into sudden death. Something might happen like that, okay? You guys ready? Back okay. it up. Are you ready? Don't get closer than you need to be. <laughs> okay. All right, here we go, here we go. You get a wine hole. In three, two, one, go, go, go! All right, we got Fiona flipping around. Mike, wait, you're wait, going wait, for, oh, Mike is in. Oh, Fiona's already going. Uh, two plus two equals four. Three spins. Three spins, Fiona. And this is lunges. She's going, Fiona's. Like, one. Uh. 
If you don't know, just make up something. Keep going. Okay, Mike's in the lead Point now. Oh, 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 okay. That's a point spin? to for Mike. Oh, I gotta spin around six times? <laughs> oh, this man. is gonna be great. <laughs> How many is that? Three? Uh, yeah, four. Now I'm really five, gonna be dizzy. Five, six. Perfect, perfect. Uh oh, you got Fiona doing the long division. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Spin again? <laughs> there we go. Wait, okay, eight spins. Eight. Oh my god! One, I can't two, do this three, four. Oh, this is about seven, eight. <laughs> Good enough. And I think Mike, I think that makes you the winner. That's four. But keep going, keep going. Forty-two keep divided going, by keep three. Going. You can still come <laughs> back and redeem yourself. Uh, fourteen. Gosh, this is. Who made up these? Raise the rules. It's not fun. There you One, go. There you two, go. There you go. Three. Butt kickers. Okay, I know. Fiona, you're, you're catching up, Fiona. Go, 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 go. One, five times three is 15. Okay. Hurry, hurry. High kick. Yeah, right. Oh, uh, here we go. One. Mike's in it for the win. Ah! Two. Mike's Good. in it for the win. Four. Five. Get to keep it knee straight. Nine. Ten. Ten eleven, eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fourteen. Oh! oh, it's at the same time. Sorry. Six. Perfect, perfect. Sudden death. Sudden death. You guys ready? I'm going to draw the math problem. You guys have the first one to answer. Here we go. Seven times six. 42. 42. Whoa! Michael Strange is the winner! That means you actually have to do 42 push-ups. <laughs> All right. Did you have a long division one? Well, there's uh, more yes. SA Live <laughs> back to school special coming up here in just a little bit in prime time. But right now, if you thought this game was fun, check out what happens every day at 1 p.m. on SA Live. Ah! <laughs> oh. We love you! <laughs> Pools and beaches! <laughs> so, uh, Finding Nemo. Wow, you are on fire. I've seen a lot of big burgers in my day. This one has to be one of the largest. <laughs> Well, this has been a fantastic hour and we have to give a big, big thank you to Sunshine Cottage School for Deaf Children for having us out here this evening. Great school. Oh yeah, 